In just a few moments, I will be giving you a complete tutorial on how to do a free cell phone or enlisted phone number search using free resources on the internet. Now, some of you may have seen some of this material before, but I'm sure that most of the tips in this tutorial will be new for you. I'd like to say that uh, this will work for some cell phone numbers, but it won't work for all cell phone numbers and unlisted numbers. And for whatever reason, if these suggestions do not work, then please feel free to go to ReverseCellPhoneNumberDetective.com where you can access the web's best search tool and premier cell phone number database. There's a small fee attached to the search, but it's well worth it if you need to find out who's calling you. Okay, well, let's go ahead and start the tutorial. I'd like to start off with a disclaimer that any references to phone numbers is coincidental and have no meaning, and also that this is for educational purposes only. In fact, I'll be hiding some of the numbers that I'll be using just for privacy concerns, and you can understand that, right? So let's go ahead and type in a number. <laughs> okay, this is a standard search I'm going to be doing, and I'm not, not getting anything at all with that. And as you can see, there's like 36... 7 million. It's 1 out of 10 out of 36 million, so let's narrow that down by putting quotation marks. Quotation marks help to isolate, isolate that phrase so that it doesn't deviate from, from this phone number. So let's go ahead and do it again. Now it's out of uh, 732, so we've really narrowed it down. Now let's uh, scrunch it together so it's just all one, like seven digits all together with the parentheses, quotation marks rather and hit that again and now we're down to 58 so even we're down to 58 and we still really we don't really get any uh, anything specific just a bunch of really bogus information okay so we didn't get anything there so we'll just take the 917 area code and you type in 917 and area, whatever the area code is you type in the digits and then also you type in the uh, the words area space code okay so then you do that, and I like to use Wikipedia, and uh, I click on the little map there, and it actually shows you, pretty cool, it shows you uh, the area. So this is basically the tri triborough area in New York City, and it even kind of narrows it down over there in Manhattan. So that's, uh, I think that's pretty helpful. But if you want a little bit more information than that, what you can do is go ahead and go to reverse cell number detective.com and type, type the number in. I already have it populated in the search here. Just go to search and type it in there. They already have it separated for you so you don't have to put in, you know, uh, hyphens or anything like that. And press search. And then you go into the paid search, but what the trick here is that you know the location is New York, New York that we just found out going to Wikipedia, but you also find out that it's mobile. And that's for free. You, know, you didn't pay for anything yet, but you know that it's a mobile number. That might help you possibly in uh, in your search. Okay, searching forums is a good way to go. So what I what you can do, I already have the number populated here at Board Tracker, BoardTracker.com, B-O-A-R-D-T-R-A-C-K-E-R.com is uh, is good for searching uh, forums. Now Google isn't the all end all to. Uh, you know, to search the internet. I mean, there are places where Google can't get its tentacles into. And so that's why you need to go to places like this and blogs to, uh, to continue your search. So I'm going to do the same thing here and to see if there's a, uh, see if anything comes up at all in, uh, in boardtracker.com. And uh, there's really nothing in here either. And that, that covers, you know, tens of thousands of, uh, of forums across the whole entire web. Another thing you could do is go to Technorati and all the other uh, blogs uh, on the internet and uh, basically just the main ones and you could search inside them in Technorati. You could search by posts and there's nothing in the posts or you could search by blogs and there's nothing in the blogs either. So if, if after that if after all that fails, then maybe it might be time to go to do a paid uh, search. And so go back to reverse cell number detective.com 
and uh, go ahead and start your search over there. But what I'm going to do is give you a little tour of the, the, the members area, so let me do that right now. I thought while I'm at it, I may as well give you a brief tour inside the members area. Here's the background reports in case you need it, comprehensive and basic. Court records, arrests, bankruptcies, judgment liens, uh, court records, criminal, inmate, sex offender. Reverse phone searches, that's what we're talking about here, right? Uh, phone search by name, birth, death records, uh, marriage and divorce records, uh, search by name, email, deep web, address, property records, credit report, uh, business search, uh, company background report, employer identification number search, social security number searches, asset search, uh, employment history, uh, the unlimited search menu just has, I'll read some of these, not all, I'm getting tired. Uh, people search by name, landline, arrest, business, court records, criminal, email, inmate, uh, relative search, uh, reverse address, reverse IP, reverse zip code, uh, sex offender search. Basically, when you are into this members area, you have all the tools that a private investigator has at your disposal. Here's an example of a, of a reverse cell phone search here. Everything you need, including the map. Um, here's a, an example of a uh, comprehensive background report where they have property records and possible deceased records, judgment liens, bankruptcies, uh, possible court records from criminal. Also, they have videos to help you to get acclimated to the members area, account information, types of searches, and how it all works. So after all this, if you still cannot find the information that you're looking for, please feel free to go to ReverseCellNumberDetective.com where you can access the web's best search tool and premier cell phone records database. There's a small fee attached, of course, but it's well worth it if you need to find the person or the number of the person that's calling you. Now, of course, you'd go there and you'd start by entering your telephone number here and then press enter. But to do that, to do that, what you have to do is uh, go to the website. And how you do that is either click on the URL or cut and paste it and put it in the search bar, or simply type in reverse cell number detective.com, enter the search and press press enter, and uh, you'll be able to access all the tools that you need. Well, thanks for listening, and I hope that this uh, information or this tutorial was a benefit to you. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you over there. Bye.